has been watching this fabulous battle. And we'll see Ferrari pulls out. Not room enough there to do that, I don't think. Having a little bit of a look. Let's try again. The open under available here. Mm, no. Well, this corner gets tighter and tighter, and there's a really late apex for this tight right hander there. But no, Darren Turner covers the line as you would expect from a professional Aston Martin driver. He's feeling the pressure here. Ooh. Oh, and the problem is now that the 40 car driven by Olivier Pla, who is no slouch, as we all know, wanted to get through and has separated the Aston Martin from the Rory Butcher driven Ferrari. But Butcher closes up again under brakes. It's back to about three car lengths as they head through the final corner of this lap. Great example of the lack of margins that, that actually apply in motorsport. Olivier Pla tucking in where you would barely have thought there was room for Olivier. I don't think there was contact anywhere there. No, no, I agree with that. Of course, Olivier Pla may not know that this is the lead for GTE. He'll know that they'll be battling away with each other, but uh, everyone's got to make space for everyone else where possible. And actually, really good driving for all three of them. And right behind, actually, there's a, uh, one of the P3 cars, one of the Graf entered machines. Not sure whether that's the 9 or the 10. It's, it's probably the nine, nine, I think. Nine, yeah, because that's now in the first sector. And the ten cars in the last sector, so that would fit. Butcher again, really close to Darren Turner. They're heading round to the kink that leads them onto the Mistral straight, and this could be Butcher's great opportunity. A lap ago, he came very close to Darren Turner. Great stuff here from both these guys. It is using the slipstream the Ferrari a little bit more low slung but it's uh, it looks to be a slightly wider car and that gap is definitely coming down around the back of the offices here at Paul Ricard the bonnet of the Aston moves up again and certainly Rory Butcher is further alongside this oh. time but he has to take to the uh, off track area the runoff section and that's high grip stuff so the tyres won't like that too much that was, that was more than ragged edge wasn't it yeah that was probably beyond the line he wanted to go. What he's looking to do is to get that inside line. He's desperate for the inside line coming into scene to force Darren Turner to do what he's just had to do there. But Darren Turner knows that trick and is not going to let that happen. 